Heuristic WAN virtual interface can be used for different reasons. One of them is to steer applications, different applications, either business, pleasure, anything to different WAN interfaces. Now you can do it using different methods. You can do it manually, you can do it based on cost, you can do it based on maximum bandwidth, and so on. So let's do it using those three criteria. All right, so the use case is as follows. We have two WAN interfaces. One of them is probably faster than the other. And we have two applications that we want to steer each to its own WAN interface. The applications are Netflix and Twitch. So we already have our interfaces configured. Now let's move to security profiles, application control, and let's create a new profile that will actually monitor and sense those applications. Let's move to application and filter override. And let's look for Netflix. Let's just find Netflix, add selected, and it will monitor, not block. The second application is Twitch. Let's look for Twitch. There it is. Add selected. Okay, so we have our sensor, we have our uh, security profile, which will monitor those two apps. That's the first step that will be applied to our firewall policy at the end. All right, now let's move to network as the when zones. Let's create a new zone. Let's name our zone streaming. And let's create two members. The, uh, let's just add them to our zone. The first one is our when one. We will not give it a cost, not currently. Let's just um, add up the gateway address. All right. And let's add another member, which is our second when interface. And its gateway IP is 2254. All right, so now we have a new zone, which is our streaming zone. We have two interfaces in it, WEN1 and WEN2. All right, so let's create now two new rules. The first one is Netflix. The source address can be our LAN subnet, but we will use all. And the application is Netflix. All right, so let's choose Netflix. Now our strategy will be manual. That is, we will choose manually the interfaces. So when one will be the first choice, and the second choice is when two. Now it is not based on quality. That is, in any case, it doesn't depend on, on our SLA. In any case, it will use when one. If when one has a, a connection issue, it will drop to when two, but it will always use when one. That is the basic choice. And as you can see, you cannot actually choose any SLA or any other uh, criteria. So that's the first choice. And let's create the second rule. And in our second rule, Twitch, we will select all. We will not select user group. The application is Twitch. And again, manual, but this time we will choose when two and then when one. So it will always move to when two. If the connection drops for any reason, it will move to when one. All right, so this was the manual way. That's the very basic and simplistic way to assign one interface to an application. So, but now you can also add what is known as a performance SLA. That is a service level agreement between your FortiGate and its WAN interfaces. As long as you stand in the SLA target, that is in terms of latency jitter packet loss, you will be used. So let's create an SLA. Let's name it streaming. 
Now, we can test our SLA towards a specific server, or we can just use ping towards Google's DNS server or any other server. So let's just do that and add up Google's DNS server. Now, the SLA target will stay the same. The link status in terms of uh, interval and failure before and active will stay the same. Let's keep that as our SLA for streaming. Now, let's get back to our SD-WAN rules and create a new rule which will be named streaming2. Now let's choose our source address and the applications that we're dealing with again is Twitch and Netflix. Now we have configured our SLA so let's now choose best quality. Let's just uh, use those uh, interfaces. That's the measured SLA, which is the streaming. Now, if there's a tie, your FortiGate will actually choose the WAN interface with the list latency. Now, you can choose different parameters such as jitter, list packet loss, and so on, but we will use the list latency. Okay, so that's our third rule. We can, of course, play with the different rule uh, position on our SD-WAN table. All right, now let's move back to our SD-WAN zones and let's edit the different members. So let's edit WAN1 and we can see that we have what is known as a cost. Now, as long as the cost is lower, the priority is higher. So let's keep when one cost to zero. Zero is the highest priority. And let's move and edit when choose cost to two. All right, now let's move back to our SD WAN rules and let's create a new rule. Let's name it streaming tree. Again, source address is all application is Twitch and Netflix. All right, but this time the strategy is lowest cost. That is your FortiGate will choose the best link according to the SLA target. Now, if there is a tie, your FortiGate will choose the link with the lowest cost. So there it is. We choose our two WAN interfaces. We choose our required SLA target. But if there is a tie, your FortiGate will actually choose the link with the lowest cost as we configured. All right, now the last thing to do is to assign your SD-WAN um, as the static route. So let's just edit this one and let's make our as the when as the static the default static route that's the first step and the second step is to create the policy the streaming policy with the incoming interface as our LAN interface and the outgoing will be our streaming as the WAN interface. So you're not choosing specific WAN interface, you're choosing the as the WAN interface. Source can be all, destination can be all, schedule and service again all, but in application control, don't forget to add up the streaming profile. And that's about it.